गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू यूनिट ऑफ मनी जो यूनिट नंबर टेन द टॉपिक इज मनी स्टूडेंट्स डू नो द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ मनी एंड वॉट इज मनी ओके लेट मी टेल यू इफ यू आर गोइंग फॉर अ फेयर यू वॉन्ट टू टेक अ राइड ऑफ एनी स्विंग वॉट यू विल नीड येस यू विल नीड मनी टू टेक एनी राइड and if you are going to market and you want to buy some toys or you want to buy some chocolates or eatables then what you will need then you will need money so money is used for buying different things and getting services coins and currency notes are used as physical money notes currency notes look at the screen these are indian currency it is in the form of notes these are the notes of 500 this is a note of 500 this is the note of 2000 this is a note of 50 rupees and this is of 200 rupees now writing rupees and paise the rupees sign the sign we used for rupees is r that is like that this is a sign of rupees and this is the sign of paise we can write p to identify the paise and r for rupee now how to write rupees and paise rupees is a larger unit of paise uh, money than paise and we use p to write paise and r to write rupees and a dot is used to separate rupees and paise see look at this this is a figure this is rupees now the long form you can write the rupees or paise in two forms in long form and short form the long form is 21 rupees 50 paise is written as in the short form it is written as rupees 21 dot 50 the left hand side unit is called as rupees and the right hand digit unit is called as paise and the that dot in between these two units is called as and so 21 and rupees 21 and 50 paise the number of paise is written as two digit number here as i have mentioned if the amount of money consist of paise only then we put zero before the dot to indicate that there are no rupees if the number of paise has only one digit then we put a zero before the digit to make a two digit number for example 30 paise is written in figure as rupees 0 and the right hand side you will write 30 that means 30 is the paise zero you are you are having rupees 0 and 30 paise and now the 32 rupees 5 paise is written as rupees 32 dot 5 paise now as i told you 1 rupee equal to 100 paise that means 100 paise make rupees 1 and 250 paise make rupees 1 and 425 paise make make rupees 1 likewise 520 paise make rupees 1 and 10 10 paise make rupees 1 and the rupees is the larger unit of larger unit than paise so next is students conversion of money now conversion of money how to convert rupees into paise and paise into rupees conversion from rupees to paise and from paise to rupees is based on the basic fact that rupees 1 equal to 100 paise and 100 paise equal to rupees 1 so if you want to convert paise into rupees or rupees into paise you will write uh, you will do uh, like that rupees 1 equal to 100 paise multiply the amount in rupees by 100 so rupees 2 equal to 2 into 100 that is 200 paise and rupees 3 equal to 3 3 into 100 that is 300 paise so to convert rupees and paise into paise we remove the dot and the symbol rupees and the right paise on the right of the number 
so obtained. Here we multiply the given rupee by 100 and add the number of the paise like conversion of rupees and paise into paise you will do. If you have, if you want to convert rupees 9 and 85 paise into paise then how will you do that? Write down the uh, unit rupees 9 and 85 paise equal to you will multiply 9 by 100 and then add 85 paise into it. 9 into 100 that means 900 paise plus that 85 paise then it will make 985 paise. In this way you will convert rupees into paise. Now conversion of paise into rupees, how will you convert paise into rupees? To convert paise into rupees and paise, the dot is placed after the two digit from the right of the number showing paise and then rupees is written on the extreme left and the word paise is removed. For example, you want to convert 945 paise, then what will you write? You write rupees 4 dot 95 Paise. You will put the dot after uh, two digit, you will write two digit from the right side and then put the dot and then rupees. Like this way you can convert the money rupees into paise and paise into rupees. Addition and subtraction of money. As we have already learned that how to add or subtract ordinary number. Addition and subtraction of money is also done in the same way. Like rules are adding or subtracting the amount with conversion into paise. Arrange the given amount in the column of rupees and paise such that all the dots fall in one column. Then add or subtract as done for the ordinary number as we, we do in ordinary numbers. Put the dot at the correct place after finding the sum or difference. Now here take an example how to add rupees 45 and 76 paise and 16 rupees and 53 paise. Now write the rupees in the rupees column and paise into paise column. Like 45 rupees in rupees, 16 rupees in uh, rupees column, 76 paise and 53 paise in paise column. Now add the amount. Now the total is 62 rupees and 29 paise. Now write the answer like this rupees 62 dot 29. That means the total amount is rupees 26 and 29 paise. Like this way you can subtract the units. Like take the example subtract rupees 45 and 30, 76 paise from rupees 84 to 62 paise. Remember that thing that while subtracting always write the bigger amount on the top. So now start subtracting from the left side. Now the answer is rupees 38 and 86 paise. In this way you can subtract or uh, add, add the numbers. Now next topic is multiply. How to multiply the money by single digit. Now, how to sub, now steps for multiplying the money. Write the given amount of money in figure with a dot in between rupees and paise. Multiply the given amount of number by the whole number as we multiply the ordinary numbers. Now place the dot in product at the same place. It is placed in the multiplicand or put the dot after the second digit from the right. Now when we know the cost of one item and want to find the cost of many item then we multiply. If you want to, if you have the cost of one thing, suppose you have cost of apples or bananas or whatever you want to find out. Uh, you know the cost of one item or one thing and you want to find out the uh, cost of many things or many uh, items then you will multiply it. Okay. Now take the example. Now here example number 7. Multiply rupees 23 and 50 paise by 7. Now write down the, like that rupees in rupees column and paise into paise column. 23 rupees and 50 paise. And now you want to find out the whole number of, you want to find out the uh, um, total amount of 7 things. Now you will multiply it by 7. So answer is rupees 164 and 50 paise. Students,